Miss, can I go to the toilet? Miss, sir. Well, sir, as a sex lover. It's a cage in your tent. It's all ES. Man, I wonder what they say about coming brighter days. But if you want to stay, then I guess it's okay. But if you come inside, you'll hear all of their lies. And as I shut the gate, no one's there to dictate. The moral is short to be strong, to be able, cause it's easy to see. And to then give a label, just find something to do. And just open your eyes. No more lessons, no more work. Come on, let's get high. Stop crying in school. 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 It's no place for the cure. It's a okay to be a ten. And it's all in the thin. It's no place for the queue. It's okay to be a ten. It's all ESN. Lying in school. It's no place for the queue. It's okay to be a ten. It's all ESN. Lying in school. No, it's no place for the queue. It's okay to be a ten. It's all ESN. Lying in school. No, it's no place for the queue. It's okay to be a ten. It's all ESN. Look, 
shut up. I'm not just standing here for fun. This is education. I am giving you extra education. Tuition on the functions of the... Oh, missed anything? Oh, no, not really. The usual seven fights, an attempted gangbang. Seize of the bowel movements, and you just can't be bothered to listen. How did you make out? Well, first of all, the Education Authority office doesn't open until nine, and they eventually arrive, right? And I discover that I cannot lodge a complaint unless I first have the approval of the headmaster. You got to oh, be no. Before I can lodge a formal complaint that this school is being run by an incompetent, I must get him to approve it. Well, who's him? Him? The incompetent I'm complaining about. Oh, what's the luck? Thanks very much. Mm -hmm. Right, here goes. You're late. I have concealed inside them. That's right, power. I take the Prime Minister. Who's the Prime Minister, Boris? The no, no, sir. Well, find out. Write that 20 times. Good morning. We are farting again. Oh, this is right. Every minute of the day, you can just bring us that. Can you have a Oh, I don't know. They're all yours, Mrs. Barnett. Our father. Oh, Shitty old school, anyway. Now, the shitty old school, as you so quaintly call it, dear, is for maladjusted students. So that is why you're here. And when you learn to behave in a normal manner, then you'll return to your normal school. Well, what's bloody normal then? I. You're not, you stupid moron. This off your cow. Since we cannot manage the prayer, we'll sing onward, Christian souls. Quietly. I should, of course, have had you all sent away years ago. Maybe a little bit of authority in Borstal. Vermont Home would teach you some manners, hmm? Sit. Now then, leave Gaylord alone. He is only a rather stupid, naughty little boy with the mind of a five-year-old. I will not have him bullied. I loathe bullies. Gaylord, do you want to be sent back to Africa? You play up like this boy and I will send you back on the first banana boat. Do you understand that? Then you leave our dear little Tina alone. Do not touch her. Have we said prayers yet? Sung the hymn? We were singing. Onward, Christian soldiers. Fine. Then let us sing it again. Loudly and with good cheer. Stand up, stand up, stand up! Boris. Boris. Boris! Something funny. 
want to laugh at something? Jolly good. Right, Sid. Philip, will you please stop picking your nose, boy? No wonder your mother is in a nut house. Right, listen to this. Today we are going to dispense with the classes and tidy up the school in groups. When you hear the bell go, you move on to the next class to your next teacher. Understood? Right, when I leave this room, I expect you all to dismiss. I am now leaving the room. Dismiss. What are you talking about? Uh, I've made out the list. Mabel, what kind of a list? What kind what? of a list? A shit list, miss. Thank you. Perhaps you'd take your opinions to the classroom. Toilets. Oh, lucky you. You get to clean the toilets. I told you so. I thought I told you to go to the classroom. Now, come on, all of you, move. Look at it, miss. Yeah. Smell it. Mm. Here, miss, do you think sir will report me to my probation officer if I don't jump into this shit? Well, if he doesn't, I will. Yeah, yeah. Three and four and four. What are the flaming heavy videos? Will you stand up? I can't. I've got that laughing. I've got the entire class to serve. Oh, for God's sake, stop talking and pay attention. Piss off. Yeah, look at how green it is. She's doing her nut. When I give the word, when I give the sogging word, I want you to run to the front of the school, touch the wall, and race back. Comprene? Oh, shut up. Ready? Get set. Go! Go! Go on there, boys! Get in there! Go, 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 go. Come on, girls, don't let them beat you. Get them in there, you lazy kids! Go on, touch the wall. Go on, get in, 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 Okay, you can. Form yourself into two teams. Boise, you come on my side. And the race is, oh, thank you very much, is whichever team fills their barrow full of clay first, okay? Okay? What's the prize? Um, well, cigarette, but don't smoke it at school. Miss, you can be on my side, okay? Thank you very much. Yeah, lads, we're going to win. Everybody got a spade? Okay. Flying in school, flying in school, flying in school. 
to do it before you're married? Um, well, I think it depends on the other person. Um, I don't believe in, in sleeping around. I don't believe in that. But if, if, if you love the other person or think you do, well, it's, it's, another, it's, it's another... I mean, it's, it's knowing more about them, isn't it? I mean, I think... Uh, well, I don't think marriage is just a piece of paper that gives you the right to cohabitate. Co-watertate? Eh? Having it off. My old lady got married because she had to. Five different times she did. And I'm going to keep saying she jumped out of an airplane. For the wrong reasons. Well, I don't think sex is the main reason for getting married. I mean, there's more to it than just a quick roll in the hay. Miss What's it? McMichael. Like no, no, like Come over here, please. Yeah. Now. I heard all that nonsense you were talking to the children about. Sex education is not part of the school curriculum. Because I do not believe that you or anybody else in the school is qualified to teach them. Timmy asked my opinion. He's a very bright boy. He asks a lot of questions. Bright boy. He is a little crook. He is in this school because he steals things and he asks dirty questions. Oh, for God's sake! They've been screwing since they were ten years old. You are not only a rotten teacher, you are immoral. Now, you are here to sell wedding rings. Next time you feel like making a speech, make sure it is about wedding rings. Do you understand? Wedding rings. I am a teacher, not a jeweler. I don't give a damn what you are. You stink. Now, go clean yourself up. Excuse me, sir. Hmm? Um, today when we were digging in the mud, I lost my shoe. And they're quite new, and my mum's going to kill me if I don't get a new pair. Mm. My shoe, I've lost my shoe. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Barbara the goat's our favourite. She's lovely, isn't she? Um, excuse me, <laughs> sir. Why do we have to do all this rotten digging? Yeah. You are digging clay for your crafts class. We ain't got no crafts class. You will have one. One day, you will have. The children really enjoy working with the animals. Such a wonderful idea, Headmaster. Oh, thank you very much. Well, a happy school makes up for a lot of past wrongs. <laughs> children, <laughs> Semba, Florus, always forward. That's our motto. It's Latin, you know. <laughs> Don't give me no lip. We got two more toilets to clean before it gets done. Now, come on. Not the old trick. I sometimes think it's schizophrenic. Una, listen. Listen, if we all got together, all of us, perhaps we could... What? Well, uh, I... Make ways with that one? No, no chance. I tried that when I first came here. It didn't work then. It's not going to work now. And besides, maybe the kids are just too far gone. You don't think that. I don't know what I think you anymore. You don't think oh, that. Oh, don't keep telling me no. Oh, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Sir, Gaylord locked himself and Tina in the coal hole. And yes, I can see that, you fool. Get him out of there, get him out. Okay, Gilroy, come on now, come on. I really can't see why you let him hijack her in the first place. I really can't see. Nobody's going to hurt you, Gaylord. That's right. That's a good boy. Come on now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Nobody's gonna hurt you, Gaylord. I'm sorry. Gaylord, sorry. I'm sorry. Nobody's gonna hurt I'm sorry. you. Well, you are the monitor, so please monitor and stop kicking. You may be a monitor. Yes, and thank you. Well, yes, okay. Now, what was I going to say? Oh, yes, I know. Um, listen, you were all very, very good at digging today. Really, very good. So, this weekend, Martin and I are going to take you to a basketball. Oh, no. oh, my boyfriend. You know he's my boyfriend. How old is he, anyway? Well, I don't actually think it's any of your business, but um, he's 40. <laughs> Before the bell goes, would you please sit down and be quiet? Okay, okay. right? Well, they're about ten, so. Good night, goodbye, and.
Here, come here, look at this. I'm having a lot of trouble. I follow the directions, but it's kind of strange color. Your color is fantastic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do bees in bed? Well, it's pink. That's all that can be said for it. It looks dreadful. And I did exactly what they told me to on the packet. Mmm. It's gorgeous. Yuck. Mmm. That's why I never have a sweat sock. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. I keep my feet warm. Anyway, it was your socks that first attracted me to you. My socks? Mm -hmm. English girls are so kinky. Mm. Aren't you glad? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, um, would it be all right if, if, if the kids came with us to the game this weekend? Mm -hmm. Oh, please. No. But I've already said they can. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Give me a break. Please. I wouldn't walk across the street with that bunch of lunatics. They are not lunatics. I wish you wouldn't use that word. They're highly intelligent, very. Not, they are! It's not their fault that nobody's ever given them a chance. Nobody, look at you spilling your pudding all over the place. You need a playpen. It's not their fault. I mean, they at least can eat their pudding without spilling it all over the sheets. Listen, why can't they come? You could have a smashing time showing off, telling them oh, all about the game. Oh, you give me a break. Listen, it wouldn't hurt just for once for them to see two people, two grown-up people who are in... What are you doing? Come here. What is Stick all around, I'll show you. Oh? No. Oh, please. No. Just once. I don't often ask no. you to do please. Oh, please. Maybe. Now, what's all this bloody nonsense about Gaylord, hmm? Can't any of you handle a 14 year old boy? 15? Oh, he wants seven. Why did you let him knock Tina in the shed? He was supposed to be in your class, you know. Not Judy Eccles' class. Can't you even handle one child? If I can't handle him, maybe nobody can handle him. Maybe he just belongs in a mental institution. A mental institution? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I mean, he's improved 1,000% since he's been at this school. When he first arrived here, he couldn't even feed himself. Now look at him. He can feed himself, speak, even sign his name. Another two years with me and he'll be the finest student we have ever had in this school. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, why don't you just take him on as your personal student? I'm going home. We do not choose our students here, Mrs. Farrar. Good night. Good night. Good night, sir. What do you think we're running? Some goddamn golf club? Oh. Are you... Neurotic bitch. No wonder Gaylord's half crazy with a teacher like her who can blame him. That's grossly unfair, and you know it. Oh, you too now, eh? He's a danger to himself as well as others. Only last week he locked himself in the staff toilet. We got him out, didn't we? Only after you turned a fire hose on him and he put his fist through the window, he could have cut himself to pieces. It's not that we don't want him, it's just that, well, we're only teachers. We can't give him the help he needs. Right? Right? Mm, it was very dangerous. Is that what you all feel? Yes. Yes! Yes! Yeah, yeah. That he belongs in... in some nut house? Oh, I certainly think he ought to be in, in an institution. He'd, he'd be better off there. Who asked you? Well, you did. Besides, not good for the other children with him here. Mr. Drake is right. He could go to Brambridge. They take students of his age. They use drugs there. I will not have him turned into a drug addict. For God's sake, be reasonable. They use drugs as part of a prescribed treatment. I do not have a shrink here, and I will not send him there where they do have a shrink. In two months' time, they'll turn him into, into an absolute nothing. Well, I, I wouldn't say that he was much of, of an anything now. Who asked you? Then why are we here? We are here, ma'am, to discuss Gaylord's future. Oh, well, in that case, the meeting's over, isn't it? I mean, what future? So Gaylord stays here, does he, so we can take pride in yet another miracle achieved by Selkirk? You are damn right. I take a pride in the daily miracles I perform at Selkirk. So should we all take a pride in the daily miracles we perform at Selkirk? Right, Mr. Bowden? Right, Mrs. Oh, Green? Yes, of course, yeah. I'm proud of it. Oh, yes, right. Right. Think... right, Miss Eccles? Right, Mrs. Barnett? Right? Yes. Right, Mr. Bowden? Yes. Uh, 
right, Miss McMichael. Talking to you. Uh, sorry, miss. Yes. Uh, yes. Belinda, get up off the floor. Off the floor, please, and I would like an explanation. I don't find any of this amusing. <laughs> well? Come on, miss. All he was doing was a bit of friendly fucking. Friendly? In Mr. Sutton's office? We well, ain't got anywhere else. <laughs> Haven't got anywhere else. That's what I said, miss. Well, besides, it ain't the first time we've done it in here. You mean you've been using his office regularly? Will well, you stop giggling? We saw him drive off. He went off with that old slag, Mabel. Miss Garfield, please. Oh, you won't tell him, will you, miss? Oh, don't be silly. I've got to tell him. 
Well, I mean, I've got to tell him, haven't I? Honest, miss, we're sorry. I'm sure you're sorry now, but I've still got to tell him. Please, miss. Oh, something would do us nut if you found out we were having it off. In my office! Mr. Bowden, you were on duty. It was your responsibility to see that my office was not turned into a brothel. I can handle these students with one hand behind my back, which is much more than I can say for you lot. A pack of incompetence. Hmm? I mean, what if Stuart's put her in the club? Here in my school, on my study, on my carpet. Hmm? How's that going to sound to her parents if the little scrubber has an in? Hmm? Sir, sir, mm. may, may I say something? Yes, what? What's important is not your carpet, it's the effect it has on those children out there. Except Stuart's no longer a child, he's a very big boy indeed. Right. <coughs> Mrs. Sparrow. <laughs> I understand that you're sought to take these sort of things extraordinarily lightly. Now, what's that supposed to mean, huh? Never mind. Um, would you bring them in, please? This of my room. Um, would you come in, please? Huh? Would you stand there, please? <clears throat> Tell me, Stuart, how long have you been, um, <clears throat> well, I mean, uh, how long have you been, uh, having sexual intercourse with your friend, uh, Belinda? How long have I been having what, sir? Don't you be coy with me, you little prick. How many times have you given her one? I don't really know. Ten or twenty. How many am I supposed to count? Ten or twenty times? In Mr. Sutton's office? Not all the time. Then where? Um, in the toilets or the cloakroom. Most times in the shack. The shack? What shack? The one by the animal pen. It's the only place we can all go when it's raining. Now, let me see if I understand you correctly. Are you saying that you all go together? and have sexual intercourse. Together? No, sir. We're not kinky. We go in pairs, except for the wankers. You are, possibly, one of the most disgusting pupils I have had the misfortune to have at my school. And if you should ever lay a hand, or anything else, on dear Belinda again, I swear, I am going to nail your pecker to a tree. Don't worry, sir. That's the last one I'll ever give her. She's gone on the game. The game? You've gone into prostitution? I had to, didn't I? My dad wants me to bring some bread in. I can't believe it. Your father has put you onto the streets. The streets? No, sir. He says we can do it in the back of the house. We've got a little room. We can do it in there. Get them out of here. Get them both out of here. Off you go, get out. Make sure she has a pregnancy test. And make sure they haven't got the clap. Put that down on paper. I want a full medical report stating that she's not pregnant and has not got the clap. No pregnancy, no clap. Right. Uh, Mr. Bowden, Mr. Drake. I want the outside areas and cloakrooms constantly patrolled. I don't give a damn whether she copulates on the sidewalk. What she does in her own time is of no consequence of mine. Oh, there's one more thing. If any of you breathe one word of this outside this staff room, I personally but will I make sure... But I have a word with her father. You will do no such thing. She will be 16 years old in two months' time, and then she will not be my responsibility. There is no way that Shh. I can... Shh! Will you stop meddling? Word of this could get to Mr. Fair... Uh, to oh, the authorities. Mr. Fairbrother. To the authorities. The authorities. Get to your classes. Oh, and one more thing. There will be no more fornicating in my school. Spoil, spoil. Poor Mr. Sutton. <laughs> Poor Mr. Sutton. Yes, right. Mr. Bowden. Later. Yes, I am, Ask actually. No, I'm going to dinner and I'm going now. Put it down. Careful. 
Look, go and have a look at it. Um, what's this? It's a hedgehog. Nice, isn't it? Oh, I see. We found it. We were going to bring it to the school, but there's no one there now. So I'll leave it here tonight and you can bring it in the morning. Me? Yeah. Uh, don't put him on the carpet, please. Don't you like him, miss? Y y he's lovely, but please, I mean, not on the carpet. We can put it in her bed. Okay. What? Ah, oh, but you li no, listen. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry, not in the bed. In the bar, then. That's a good idea. Come on, it's this way. Listen, please. I mean, I really appreciate the thought, but I must tell you, I don't know anything Miss, about it. Miss, just don't forget to yes, feed I him. I realise that, but Bye, listen, Miss. please, Bye. well... Well, what do hedgehogs eat? I don't know. Uh, chips or sweeties? We'll give him something tomorrow at school. I want to drink oh, your blood. You oh, fool! I would have had a heart attack. It's like the girl in Dracula. You know, these movies have become real respectable. Quite right. The directors have all become big shots, all of Cult figures. The schools are running on the series. Because he'd starved to death. I have to take him to school today. Besides, they do things. What do you mean, they do things? Well, the same as we do, only worse. Oh, God. Okay, come on, let's move the tub. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Oh, God, he's not there. Well, you'll be happy to know he's alive and well under here. He's got a friend. <laughs> that was not at all funny. Okay, um, I'll lift this thing up and you take a towel and get him out of it. No, no, you lift it up. No, 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 you lift it up. I lift it up. I'll lift it up. I lift it up. You get him out with the towel. I can't touch it. Honest, I can't. I don't know. Bye, Yeah. Ready? Lift. Yeah. Get me something to put him in. Please. Don't, please don't bring that thing near me. I mean, it's covered in fleas. Get something for me to put him in. Well, what? Well, it's easy enough to say get something to put him in. What? I mean, the waste paper basket is going to crawl out of. I can't put it in a drawer or anything. Oh, God, now I've got the itches. Um, bread bin. I... Morning. Roman times, the people of Africa had big, beautiful cities with different kinds of shops that sold food, goods, and everything else they needed. It's boring. 
Oh, shut up, Will. You learned something. They also had good transportation, with many wagons, carts, and different types of boats. This was all going on when the rest of the world, like us, was still living in caves. That's right. How come those Africans was ahead of everyone else then? Look at Daniel! Watch it, Snowflake! Right on! Don't start all that shit. She started it. Uh, hey, look at old Miss. Sent us at Moscow, the next Olympic Games. <laughs> He's very, very keen. He idealizes that Romanian girl, Nadia Ramblin. Come on, Ash. Personally, I prefer Nelly Kim. Let's <laughs> pop <a> star. <laughs> into a, a craft centre. You see, there's plenty of room to make everything. I've even found a kiln we can make pottery. I mind if I have a look? Um, not all, your pleasure. This is the craft centre. The children are fixing it up on their own. What a splendid idea. Uh, you see, I have always been of the opinion that children should be allowed to show their creativity. Oh, oh, this idea, headmaster. Well, carry on. I'm very happy that you are following through everything that I said, just exactly what I had in mind. Would you care for a cup of tea in my study? Lovely idea. Thank you so much, Kitty Winkies. You see, it's always been such a terrible state of For a full ship of music, he could lead a band. A band? An orchestra? <laughs> Was there something? Mm, something funny? Yes, yes. No, no just, you know. No idea what a struggle it has been. You see, these children... Just need somebody they can look up, somebody they can respect. Lucky they are to have you as headmaster. Oh, can they turn to Mr. Fairbrother? Oh, do call me Charles. <laughs> oh, my master. 
He said he's never on that skateboard that far. Come on! All of you, get off. That's it. Are they all over? Yeah. yeah. Right. Do you, do you think we should stop and count? To oh, good heavens, no. You have to trust them sometimes. We're very good up to now. Just treat them like adults and they'll behave like adults. Can't keep turning around and checking them as though they're infants. Dear. flight out of here Friday night and then uh, I'll send you back on Sunday night. I can't. Mm. Well, I can't go that weekend because it's our jumble sale. What do you mean it's your jumble oh, sale? Shout out. You know perfectly well we have a jumble sale every year. Everybody helps. Even Terence. Well, get a cold. I never get cold. Well, get one this time. Lovey, I can't go. I have to be there. I'm getting, perhaps... I'm getting real sick of this. Well, I'm mean, real sick of it. Listen, can't we go the weekend following? No, we can't go the weekend following because I have to be back here the weekend following. I've got a job too, you know? Yes, I've got to earn a living yes, around sir. here, you know? Yes. Beat it! Hey, you're in there. Not in this one of the kids. Sit down. Come on, no, no. 
Someone's coming through the bedroom window. No shit. It's all right, Miss. I'll get the door. I know what. Oh, it's the human fly. But don't you use doors like other people? Oh, already know how to open them kind of locks. I'm into windows now. That's what you learned at that school, breaking and entering? <laughs> it's just like me old man. It's okay, thank you. I can open my own door. Okay. Paint. Yeah, it's purple. Purple? Don't you like it, miss? Oh, yes, it's, it's, it's a very... You didn't. Oh, we didn't nick it. Oh. Hello, Tim. Hello, miss. Give us a word and we'll give the place a coat of paint. Yeah, well, not tonight. Thanks very much. I'll, I'll let you know when, okay? Okay? Well, <laughs> anything else? No, miss. We thought you might like a bit of company. Oh, well, thank you. Only, unfortunately, no, we haven't actually eaten yet, you see, so... She's with old dead eye. Mr. West, if you please. Yeah, ma'am. <laughs> OK, thanks very much. Good night. So, uh, OK, night see you in the morning. OK, night-night. Night, Tim. Tim? Timmy? What's up? I've got sticky fingers again, miss. <sighs> what did you take this time? A moped. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> where is it? Drove it into a dump after I rode it about for a while. Why? Something to do. Oh, I'll give... I'll give you something to do. I'll give you something else to do. What's that? You're going to take it back. Why? It won't run now. It doesn't belong to nobody. It's been in the street for Don't weeks. Don't be so stupid. Of course it belongs to somebody. It has to be returned before it's reported stolen. Oh, I'll just go and get Martin. No, only you or I going. Why? Martin's OK. No, miss, I can't trust everyone. I'll get my coat. Come on, miss. You sure this thing won't go? Sorry, I broke the chain before I dumped it. Oh, really? Give me a hand. It's not the lightest thing to push. Oh, yeah, right. Come on, miss. That's where I got it. What a lad post. Just, just not it. Just Wait a minute. What are you doing? Leave it. Walk oh, slow, miss. Walk slow or someone will notice and gets put inside. I don't think I can walk slowly. In fact, I know I can't. Miss! Miss! Oh, shit. Really, Mrs. Brown, no one expects you to. Thank you so much. 
Mr. Barton, I feel it my duty to have to tell you that you look remarkably scruffy today. Yes, headmaster. Uh, can't you smarten yourself up a bit? <coughs> yes, indeed, sir. Run out of blades, I'm afraid. Anyway, there's something wrong with the hot water. Run. Bull cock. Not just now, dear. Maybe after lunch. I'll be left with me short. Oh. The sort's not away from there within three seconds. I'm going to write a note to his probation officer and he can show him something Oh, Victor, lovely. dear, go away. The trouble with me is I'm too soft, you see. I mean, if I can handle these students, I don't see why the hell you lot can't. I wonder what those two are up to. They're a bit old for these window games, you know. Of course, I have been planning on turning that shack into a craft center for some time now. As a matter of fact, I'm in the middle of a whole lengthy correspondence with a qualified crafts teacher. Really? That would be wonderful. I mean, the kids love making things. Yes, I am aware of that. That is why I'm after the proper person to guide them. Would you remind me to show Miss McMichael some of the correspondence I've had with the various applicants? That's marvellous. No, really, I mean, they do deserve a professional teacher. I mean, not some old amateur like me. Miss McMichael, would you endeavour to keep my craft centre spick and span? <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Thank you. Can nobody control the children in this school? Am I the only one that can do that, Mr. Bowden? Oh, my God! Oh, you, you bastard! Christ! Got oh, ya! Nice! I will get you for this! Every single one of you! You will not get away with this! Who did this? Who did this? The germs. Not gonna ask how you feel anyway. Oh. Oh. Uh. <coughs> come on, come on, get your buns back in bed. Got some goodies. Ooh, I say. Ooh, lovely. Oh. And my special get rid of your cold quick remedy. Ah. Ta-da! Children were uh -huh. oh. they were stealing everything. What they didn't steal, the parents stole. I mean, it looked like a shoplifter's convention. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. <coughs> oh, God, I, I could have been in Paris. Paris? Mm. I wouldn't go because of the jumble sale and because of the cold. I never got to the jumble sale. Martin's there on business. Monkey business. Oh, now, come on. Do I look as though I need a joke? Thank you very much. Seriously, how are you and Martin getting along? Well, it's everything and nothing, you know. What does that mean? Well, I was married before, right, and that was a total disaster, but he's never been married. I guess he doesn't want to get his feet wet. No, no, that's just the trouble. He does. He does. Look, I gotta get going while I can still walk before they burn the whole school down. Don't have that sort of luck. You want a bet? Well, thank you very much for coming in. My pleasure. You're not leaving the medicine. Oh, I didn't know you were that sick. I'm working on it. Up, up, up. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Thanks again. So long.
Painting gear. Yes, but I mean, what's it for? Start the wall. Start what in the wall? Purple should really brighten this place up. Maybe orange would be better. What? Say, miss, do you want orange instead? Instead of what? Purple. Oh, no, no, I think purple would be fine. Thank you very much indeed. That would be lovely. Thank you. Yes, purple. Come on, get the steps. We'll finish yeah, this cup of ours. We're still making up. Do you like purple, Miss? Yes. I think it's awful. Tomorrow, miss. Well, you mean you haven't finished? Sir. Stupid. See you, miss. Bye, miss. Bye. Thank you, miss. Oh, my, that looks lovely. Thank you. Hey, Florence Nightingale. We'll take you down the pub. No, that's all right. I'm going to stay here and keep Miss company. Well, you don't have to, Mari. No, that's all right. All right, sir. Bye, miss. Uh, well, bye. Thanks again. I'll go and clean up the kitchen. Mari, leave it. No, fuck that, miss. I'll do it. You just get well. Mari, why do you always use fuck? Don't you know any of the other words? Of course I do. Well, then why don't you use them? Expand your vocabulary. I won't. Why not? Because my mother says fuck, but she don't use them other dirty words. If I did, she'd get mad at me. Hello? Darling. What? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm fine, fine. How are you? I don't know. It must be a bad connection or something. What? Oh, the jumble sale was fine. Well, I mean, it was actually rather more of a jumble than of a sale. Everything was sold that wasn't nicked. No, no, I didn't say a word. It must be a cross line or something. Well, of course I do. Oh, you know I love you. Yes, I really do. Why do you keep asking me to tell you I love you? I love you. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, now don't. It will be long, will it? Okay. Okay. Bye. That was that Martin, wasn't it? If you swear not to tell another living soul, it was actually Paul Newman. Really? Ah, gotcha. Why didn't you tell him you were sick? It's not as though I'm at death's door, is it? Unless, of course, old Sutton has bribed you to put poison in this lovely soup. Oh, he didn't, miss. I wouldn't put it past the fucker. You see, there's that word again. Oh, sorry, miss. So am I. What for? Well, I shouldn't have made that crack about Mr. Sutton. Oh, don't worry, miss. I won't tell him. You make sure you stay in bed tomorrow. Yeah. I've got to go, miss. Or my mum will wonder where I... See, I didn't say it, did I? Mm -hmm. Leave the tray on the floor and I'll wash it up tomorrow. Lights out. And you make sure you turn your light out in ten minutes. Yes, matron. Night, miss. Night, matron. Anyway, could you stop now, please, because it's time for you to go to Mr. Bowden's special class. Now, will you stop? What's up, please Miss? Stop. What's up? 
What's wrong? Nothing's up. It's just that Philip has now got to go to his special reading class with Mr. Bad. Come on, Philip. You've got to go to Fish your reading Come on, Philip. Oh, oh, right. You've got to go to your reading lesson. Don't hurt him, Mari. You've got to. Please. Yes, Mr. Especially when he's rotten. When Miss asks you to do something, you fucking won't oh, do let, it. Let go. Kick your head in. Me on. Let what go. are you doing? I mended the room. Miss McMichael. Well, get on and we'll do it. Headmaster. I do not like this militant feminist attitude you seem to be instilling in her. I'm going to have it transferred to Mrs. Barnett's class. Oh. And for your further information, for all your further information, I am closing down this, this so-called craft center. What? Oh, you can't. I mean, well, look, I mean, they're doing such good work. That is absolute rubbish. I mean, all they do is traipse this mud and filth in and out of my school. I have an appointment for lunch, and when I come back, I expect to find the whole thing closed down. Oh, Terence! Terence, please! Terence, please don't close it down. You saw the sort of work they're doing. It's really very good. They... Uh... Mr. Sutton has set the most incredible standard here. He's one of my, my finest headmasters in the district. Is he really? <laughs> one wonders why he stays here. Why does he? Oh, it, it, it's the children. He feels... He feels very strongly about them. Otherwise, he could go anywhere in the academic world. I'm anxious to meet him. We all are. He sounds quite remarkable. I wonder if you could uh, show us the headmaster's room. He ain't here. I've seen him drive off. Drove out. I'll drive out. What time do you expect him back? He went to lunch with that old raver Mabel. They'll probably uh, kill a bottle or two and he'll give her one on the way back, won't he? You make your headmaster sound like a pop star. <laughs> yes, yes, but it's all... It's all very irregular. I, I'm perfectly certain he was told that we are switching our days from, from, from Thursday to Wednesday. Yes. yes. I wonder if we could uh, get one of the uh, staff to show us around. Fucking hell. Oh, dear. Charmed. Follow me up here. I wonder what one the one thirty. Oh, miss, oh, Mr. Fairbrother. Ah, good morning. Mr. I'm Mr. Fairbrother. Yes, that's the right. The educational That's it. Excuse me. Um, you're just the person I've been wanting to see. What about? What about this school? Oh, sorry, I'm McMichael, Connor McMichael. Uh, no, that won't be necessary. Mr. Sutton has already told me of your unhappiness here, and I can assure you no obstacle will be put in your way should you wish to seek employment elsewhere. Now then, I wonder if you'll show us around. Oh, well, uh, uh, my, sorry, no, I'm in my own class, but um, Stuart will, won't you, Stuart? Um, Stuart will show you absolutely everything you want to see. Absolutely everything they want to see. Okay? Bye-bye. With your feet! Quiet! Now then, Stuart, you show us anything you think we'll find interesting. Is that all right with you? All right. About turn. We'll start with the Carsies. The what? The loo, darling. Yeah, that's what I said. The shit out. Come on. I don't really have to give up my golf for the train inspection, my brother. Not only the latrines, there's a marvellous craft set here. Oh, there, it's raining. Shower. Oh. Oh, that's not right, that's piss. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They definitely want to see the boys' life things. There's a stink smell of cannabis here. Yeah, it's cannabis, sir. Don't play stupid with me, boy. I've dealt with your soul in the army. Hand it over. Now. Your, your military background, Major Brady, I'm sure you understand Mr. Sutton's problem. All he's trying to do is to instill some discipline into some very wayward children. Wayward children? Juvenile bloody delinquents. Then you're sound thrashing and kick up the backside of any language the little buggers understand. Yes, well, he has organized the most incredible craft centre. <laughs> Stuart, Stuart, uh, will you show everybody the craft centre? Well, it's closed up. Finished. Finished? Why? You know, the old perv, Sutton, was using it to do Maybelline. Do 
was. You know, he's making a naked clay statue of her. Commissioned by the Royal Academy, no doubt. We're looking at animals, Dan. What exactly is the point of this oh, therapy? School dinners. God knows what they've got in here. Oh, my God. What, uh, what are you doing in there? It's something lovely. Yes, I would like to see something lovely. What a, what an unexpected pleasure. Mr. Sutton, I take it. And that one is, uh, Mabel? Oh, yes. Yes, this is Mr. Sutton. That is Major and Mrs. Brady. He is chairman of my committee. Uh, look, I am sorry about this unfortunate accident. We will have him in hospital as soon as possible. Probably it's just as well that you were here to witness some of the daily problems I have to cope with. I mean, problem children, problem parents, lack of modern facilities, <laughs> things like that. Uh, look, why doesn't uh, Miss Garfield show you the craft set? You have shut it. Oh, yes, I have. Yes, I have shut it. You see, I shut it because I found it very unhygienic. Tell me, Fair Brother, this is the finest school in your district. I wonder what the others are like. Uh, Major, uh, Mr. Fairbrother, I can... Major, I, I do assure you, Mr. Fairbrother. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Um, do you think Victor's accident is going to turn him into a unit? I sincerely hope so, boy. Terence! Yes. Oh, piss off. <gasps> Mr. Fairbrother! Mr. Fairbrother, would you come here a minute, please? I want to tell you that I, I... How could you do this to me? This place is a bloody madhouse. Now, look, I have been pissed on. I have been... I have been exposed to drugs. One child was practically castrated at my feet, and I have been humiliated. I have been humiliated in front of my entire committee. Now, then, I am too upset to talk about it now, but I am going back to my office, and I'm going to call you. And you wait for my call. Wait for your call? I don't want your bloody students to wait behind in class, you... Here's a little bit of Paris for you. I say, how thrilling. Oh! <laughs> That's from the airport, it's no oh, big deal. Favorite smelly cheeses. Oh, and a bottle of wine. I missed you. I missed you too. You did, huh? Yeah. My life was very calm and boring without you. 
I don't think that's a compliment, really. And don't kiss me when I'm trying to speak. So what happened? Oh, God, what a week. All the big guys were there from the States. Mm -hmm. And I got some big news. Got a big new job. You mean you got the sack? <laughs> no, I'm no. going to run the paperback department. Oh, I say, congratulations. Clever you know where you. the paperback department is? No. Boston. We're going to Boston, you and I. You're going to love it. It's a great place. Just a minute. You mean you're going back to America? No, no. We're going back to America. You and I are going to America. We're going to get married, and we're going to live like normal human beings for a change. Um. Um. What? <laughs> so I'm very enthused. You should stop telling me I could teach him Boston. I, well, I mean, I don't even know I could teach him Boston. I'd be able to, but then again, I might not. Holy shit. What? Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you about the purple. Well, you should have put some zebra skins on the ceiling. That would, uh, that would give you something, give you a look, you know. Well, I mean, yeah. well, the kids came right Hey, they... hey! I don't want to hear about the kids don't anymore. Don't shout at I don't want to hear anything about the kids. You call yourself a teacher. You're not a teacher. You know what you are? You're a patsy. You're a pushover. You think you're helping these kids by letting them get away with this shit? These kids don't need you. You need these kids. They run you around, and you love it. I'll tell you something, Connie. You better get out of this business before they decide to paint your hair green. That's the next thing you're going to let them do, right? What about your life? What about our lives together? What about us? Listen, I, I just want a chance for us together. Is that asking for too much? Is it? All right, Friday morning, I'm on a plane. I'm gone. So think it over. Let me know. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. 